guys. It's October 31st. It's Halloween night. And, well, I wasn't really going to do anything special for Halloween until uh, my buddy Mike Shredder uh, made a point that maybe I should do, you know, a, re a review of a, you know, a horror game. And uh, then I thought, hey, that's a pretty good idea because, as you guys know, in a video I did a few weeks ago, I just picked up Splatterhouse 2 for the Sega Genesis. So, I mean, perfect timing. Here's Splatterhouse 2. Alright guys, sorry about that little scare. I just I just had to try it. I don't know if it worked or not, but it worked on me and I knew it was coming, so that says enough right there. Um this is Splatterhouse 2 for the Sega Genesis. And um well first of all I better apologize for the sound. Uh if you notice the sound is maybe a little choppy, it cuts out for a fraction of a second every now and then and also it's way off I'm gonna try and adjust it as close as I can uh, the sound may be off a little bit um, that's because I'm using an emulator and uh, you know even though I own this game you know I still use an emulator a lot I try to do only games that I own or have owned um, but even when I own them it's a lot less work to just run it on an emulator and record it with fraps then to get out the genesis, get out the cables, get out the controller uh, I have to get out the VCR for the genesis so I have to get out some video cables for go to the VCR to the TV tuner and uh, you know it's just so much quicker and easier you know, I don't have to get out all the wires and everything you know just to use an emulator most of the time it works pretty good and you guys can't tell. But uh, for some reason on this one here, uh, the sound got a little choppy, so... Looks weird they're saying press start button and not press run button, but here we go. Graphically it's pretty good, I mean this game came out and I didn't check before I did this video, so I'm guessing I'm saying 1990, um, maybe 1991, but, you know, the graphics pretty good for the time. Maybe they're a little better than the original Splatterhouse on the TurboGrafx-16, uh, but it's kind of hard to say without putting them side by side, and they're probably a little bit better, you know, it's, it's newer game, so, you know, you'd expect that they would at least be a little bit better. Gameplay, though is not better, it's essentially identical. Um, you got jump and you got attack. Two buttons and that's it. I mean, that made sense on the TurboGrafx-16 where you had two buttons. Uh, but on the Genesis, I uh, could have, could have think, you know, you'd think they would have been able to find something else to do with the other button. Um, or maybe they just wanted to keep it simple, I don't know, but a is jump, B is attack, and A is jump, or sorry, C is jump again. So they really just had no idea what to do with C, so they made it jump. So you got two jump buttons, do the exact same thing. Uh, but you know, there's nothing wrong with simple controls, you know. Two buttons, that's alright with me. Uh, so here's the first boss, here. And um, he's relatively easy. <laughs> As I die. 
Now, as I was saying, he's he's relatively easy. You just gotta stay close up to him, and uh, you know, just go nuts on him. And just like that, he's dead. And just before he dies, you gotta back off because his stomach explodes with acid, and if that hits you, you're dead. Very similar to some of the early bosses on Splatterhouse, the original. You know, something would happen right after you kill them that could kill you. Uh, so anyways, here's the second level. These things are annoying. These leaping things. I'll just call them leapers. They make this really annoying sound, and they leap at you. And uh, basically, you don't want to be under them, because they'll, they'll just they'll hit you. You can't really hit them if they're directly above you and fall onto you. So this is just a little elevator stage, you know. Basically, just survive. You know, kill the amount of things that come at you, and then, and then you're done. The music's very good in this game. I, I actually, I'm, I'm getting kind of creeped out playing this game by myself. And the music is kind of scary. You know, the music is, it definitely fits the mood. And you know, it's some pretty good music on the Genesis. You know, maybe not spectacular, but it's pretty good. Kind of strange that you know these games. At least I didn't think so. I didn't think they were they were very well known. I had never even knew that there was Splatterhouse two and three on the Genesis until actually once again Mike Shredder was talking about it. And you no, know, I remembered Splatterhouse on the Turbo Graphics sixteen, uh, but I had no idea that there was you know two sequels and they were for the Genesis. Um, so you know, considering it's that's not a bad game. The controls sometimes are a little frustrating, it's a little hard I find. I died like a million times just making this video and I, I found it frustrating, I was getting really mad. But I mean it's not like the controls are like, you know, all, they're not horrible or anything. You know, they're not bad. Overall the games, you know, it's pretty decent. Uh, so it's a, you know, it's a, it's, it's a wonder that it wasn't a little more popular. But anyways, enough about that. Now here's the second boss. Um, you know, like a lot of good bosses in Splatterhouse, it's just a matter of figuring out what you're supposed to do and uh, you know where to be uh, at what moment and uh, you figure out the patterns. Now on this boss here, you know, you just gotta hit him in the eyes. When his eyes are open, that's his weak spot and just avoid the stuff he throws at you. I don't know, it looks relatively easy now, but I, I died freaking like five times just trying to beat this guy. I don't know, maybe I just suck, but... I don't know, I thought the game was kind of hard. That's pretty cool how the eyes pop like that. Kind of gross looking too, but... This is pretty cool. You can hit the enemies and they fall into the water. And I don't know if it's supposed to be like acid water or something, but you know, this, it certainly kills them and it hurts you. So, as you can see there, simply falling in the water takes a hit. Once again, the graphics are pretty good. The sounds pretty good. It's a good game. You know, it's a good horror game, and. Uh, I don't know why it wasn't more popular. 